Hello, you're watching Dansky, and in this tutorial we're going to be remaking the PS5 logo design in Adobe Illustrator. First let's go ahead and create a new document. My artboard size is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And I'm going to select the line tool, click and hold shift to draw a horizontal line. Next check there is no fill applied and we can increase the stroke weight from the property inspector. Next let's select the arc tool, click and hold shift to draw a quarter circle segment and then rotate round holding shift. Let's just zoom in nice and close and then we can snap these together using Illustrator's smart guides. I can then go and fine tune my stroke properties as well as making a few other minor adjustments so that my design matches my reference image off screen. We can hold alt or option and drag to duplicate shapes and I'm just going to rotate this so it snaps together and then repeat all of the steps so far to build out the letter P. Next I'm going to copy and then paste in place. Move this out using the arrow keys and then again repeat that same process using all of the components I've created to build out the letter S. We can also show rulers and drag these out from the top just to make sure all of my characters are the same height. I'm then going to continue building the letter S and repeat the process again for the number 5. I can also select shapes and click these icons here to flip horizontally and vertically. And with the direct selection tool select this segment and click delete or backspace to remove. I can then use the pen tool to manually draw this in and square off this corner. And once again it's exactly the same steps using those components we've created to build the number 5. Once you're happy you can drag over everything to select and go to object, expand, leaf fill and stroke selected and click OK. We can now switch between outline and preview mode using command or control Y. And with the direct selection tool selected, I can select multiple anchor points holding shift, very specific anchor points, and then use the arrow keys to move this out, making sure I remember the number of arrow key presses, because then I can go and apply this to the left side. So if you do 15 arrow key presses to the right, you do 15 to the left, and they both end up the same width. We can also select multiple anchor points and use the align panel to align these anchor points to each other. Once again we're going to repeat that process for the letter S and the number 5, thickening up certain parts of the characters so that it matches the PS5 logo design. Next I'm going to use the rectangle tool to create a four sided shape that matches the width and height of the characters and this is to ensure that each of the characters occupy the same space and I'm going to give this a bright colour so it stands out. And you can see me making some minor adjustments here to the characters themselves and the overall composition. Next if we hop back into outline mode you can see we have lots of different segments so I'm going to select each character in turn and use the unite option from the pathfinder panel to combine all of these segments into a single shape. And with the shape selected we can switch to the direct selection tool and click on these circles just inside the edges. We can then click and drag towards the center to round off the corners or double click on one of these control points and adjust the properties from the dialog box instead. Click OK when you're happy. And once again we're going to repeat the process to round off the corners for the other characters. And again we can use the direct selection tool to fine tune any adjustments after we've expanded our shape. And I'm just going to use the rectangle tool to create a black background and then change the logo colour to white and make it a pinch bigger. And there we go, that's how to create the... Oh, oh yeah, one more thing. So after expanding your shape, it is harder to edit the corner radius. However, you can use the direct selection tool to move these anchor points down and to the left an equal amount of times to maintain a proportional radius. And then I can add the PlayStation logo mark to complete the logo design. So that wraps up the video for real this time. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for more. Take care and I'll see you next time.